हेलो फोमर्स दिस इज दिव्यश्वर्या वेलकम बैक टू डी डिफ्लूट्स टूडे इज आर टॉपिक इज वेरी सिंपल बट वेरी ऑफन आस्क हाउ टू अप्लाई हिट फ्लक्स बाउंड्री कंडीशन फॉर वॉल समटाइम्स वेन यू वेन यू आर सिमुलेटिंग हिट ट्रांसफर प्रॉब्लम यू नीड टू गिव हिट फ्लक्स एट द वॉल्स इन दैट केस यू कैन अप्लाई हिट फ्लक्स बाउंड्री कंडीशन इन वेरियस वे in the open form so we will see all those ways in this uh, video so stay tuned till the end so here we have uh, four different methods of uh, applying a uh, heat flux boundary condition the first one is using uh, heat flux itself then second one we have is uh, using power uh, q then if we have a heat transfer coefficient and ambient temperature we can use those values as well as a input then fourth one is uh, using heat flux and thermal conductivity so we will see how to give uh, heat flux boundary condition using all these four ways so basically it is applying same thing but uh, here we have different inputs so what kind of info input you have uh you can use uh, the method accordingly so our first uh, method is uh, using uh, heat flux itself so as you can see on the screen we have a standard template of uh, using a heat flux boundary condition so imagine a pipe a 3d pipe uh, there you need to give a heat flux boundary at the walls so in that case uh using this uh, external wall heat flux temperature boundary condition type we can give mode as a flux we will see different modes of this in the other options so for now we are using flux then we apply the value of flux so here q is uh, uniform 1000 i took uh, a very random value for uh, this case then we have kappa method so here i am using a flow through a pipe problem that's why it's a fluid thermo but for example if you are using conjugate heat transfer and you are applying this uh, boundary condition for uh, solid region then you can use solid thermo so there are different types of uh, kappa method available so here i am going to use fluid thermo then the default value we need to give for temperature value will be uh, any arbitrary value i am giving it a uh, uniform 300 so let me show you the same case into the open form so i already have set up the case for all four types so here as you can see on the case one in the zero folder and temperature so in the temperature we have at the walls uh, the boundary condition specified external wall heat flux temperature then the flux then the value so here i am taking any arbitrary value uh, just to demonstrate so let me close it and i'll i'll try to simulate this problem so in my terminal i i i'll go to that problem is 1 then i am using this uh, Joint simple form. Hit enter. Okay, so it executed successfully. Now let me open this case into the para view. at the last time step for the temperature we have this uh, hot temperature at the walls and cold temperature at the core region and you can see the uh, temperature difference in the legend so that's how we can set up the heat flux boundary using the flux itself now we have a second option and that's the 
using power so for example if we have uh, power in the watt then you we can apply that as an input as well so using same boundary condition external wall heat flux temperature we need to change the mode to uh, power from flux then we give capital q and the value of it here same way we give uh, kappa method and default value so let me show you the same case into the pair uh, view so here in the case 2 I have given this uh, external wall heat flux temperature boundary condition with uh, mode power and the value of Q. So that's all the input it required. Close it and let me run the simulation. Let me open it into the para view. Hide first one. So again, as you can see, we have this uh, heated wall at the uh, outer region and cold uh, temperature at the region so that's how you can use power as an input i again i am using any arbitrary value that's why you are not getting the exact same uh, temperature in the legend in the this uh, pipe uh, you can use if you want to verify all this you can use uh, any standard paper or your calculations as well now let me show you the third option that's uh, using uh, heat transfer coefficient and uh, ambient temperature so if you have uh, heat transfer co coefficient and uh, ambient temperature as an input you can use that uh, those uh, options in the same uh, boundary condition so type again it's same external wall heat flux temperature then you give coefficient here the mode then you give uh, ambient temperature 300 and uh, heat transfer coefficient uh, as an input so these two values are important here then again same way kappa method and value so let me show you the same thing again in the uh, files so here in the zero folder in the temperature file i have given the coefficient temperature ambient temperature of 300 and h is equal to 10 so using this two value let me simulate this problem If I open the same problem in the para view, here again we have heated uh, temperature, uh, high temperature at the walls and uh, cold temperature at the core region. So that's how you can use uh, coefficient and uh, heat transfer coefficient and ambient temperature as an input. Now we have our fourth option that's uh, heat flux and thermal conductivity. So using these two value we can give the gradient. So using fixed gradient boundary condition we can give a value of the gradient. So gradient will be Q by K heat flux by thermal conductivity. So that value we can give here 
and uh, that will take as a gradient and it will simulate so let me again open the case in here and as you can see here in the temperature file i have given uh, a fixed gradient and the gradient value uh, using this value we can simulate the problem so let me simulate it for you so i'll again open the same problem in the para view here as you can see we have again heated walls at the uh, heated walls and the core region is cold so here i have uh, used correct value for uh, defining this fixed gradient so gradient uh, legend you can compare this with our case one so it's 2.3 maximum value of temperature and uh, one kelvin at the uh, core region and that's the minimum value so if i open the uh, case one and disable this one i have same value right let me rescale it to data range so it's pretty much uh, same value that we are getting so that way you can uh, confirm that uh, how they are working so you can validate all this uh, options so that was all for this video so whichever uh, way you want to implement heat flux boundary condition you can implement so uh, it completely depends on what input you have if you have a heat flux power heat transfer coefficient or flux and thermal conductivity using those values you can uh, give a input and apply the heat flux boundary condition if you are looking for this presentation or any other uh, learning material regarding the open form you can uh, join my telegram channel there all the pdfs will be available you can also subscribe to this uh, youtube channel you can join me on this uh, social media platforms with this stay healthy stay fit see you in the next video